Hi there, my name is Kevin and here on my channel we learn how to code the web and how to make it look good while we're at it. Today I'm going to give you a rundown on how media queries work and we're going to do it in less than 5 minutes. Now this is part of a new series that I'm starting up where I'm going to be looking at different important concepts and giving you guys a rundown on how they work in under 5 minutes, a little coding quickies. Because, you know, not everyone has time to watch a 25 minute long video all the time. Now, if you like this idea, like the video so that I know that you like it. And if you have any topic ideas and things you'd like to see me do in less than five minutes, leave them in the comments below. But let's stop wasting so much time and let's get to this. If you're here, you probably know that a website needs to be responsive today. So instead of worrying about why, let's just jump right into the how. Now, media queries are used either to create new CSS rules or more often to overwrite existing CSS rules. And in general, you already have some CSS like I do right now on the screen and uh, we want to modify that at different screen sizes. So with this page that I have on the screen now, it's nice and simple, just threw it together and I think it looks pretty good on mobile. But uh, as the screen gets bigger, there's a few changes that I want to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way down to here and media queries always start with an at media and then they have a parentheses and then they have the curly braces. Just write this every single time so you don't forget anything and then you go back into it and fill it out. So inside the parentheses here is one of the places where we can write a rule. So in here I'm going to write min width of 600 pixels. So currently my paragraphs have a font size of 1 rem and I want that to be bigger as my screen size increases. So let's do just that. Uh, all we need to do is write our new rule inside of the little squiggly braces here. So I'm inside of those. I'm going to put my paragraph and I'm going to just write normal CSS. So my paragraph will now have a font size of 1.25 rem. Save that and there we go. So now I can see that it's smaller and then when it gets bigger, it gets bigger. So as soon as I cross that threshold, it gets bigger. And of course I can keep doing that. Uh, so on top of that, I can add another at media, do that, put all my things there and go back inside of there. And we're gonna do a min width of 800 pixels and we will do a paragraph font size of 1.5 rem and in this case let's also go and throw a line height uh, in there of 1.5. So now when I get to 800 pixels we can see the font size jumps and my line height is also adjusting at the same time. Now remember with CSS the last rule always wins so let's say I have two rules here to define the background of my site. Right now purple's on top so my site says white but if I copy that purple one or I cut it and I move it down below here and I save it goes to purple, the white gets overwritten and my purple wins. So we don't actually want a purple background, but the same applies to media queries. You want to always make sure your media query comes after what you're trying to overwrite. So if this paragraph was all the way down here, my media queries are going to do nothing because it's changing at this screen size, it's changing in that, and then this one is changing it everywhere and there's no point in having any media queries. So just make sure you put your original selector first, then you do your media queries after that or you might see that nothing's actually happening. Now, other than min width, we also have max width. So if you're doing things in a trendy way, you know, the mobile first way, like I've been doing in this video, well, then we're starting at a small screen size. We're getting bigger and bigger. So we're adding rules as we increase the size of it. We're going with min width like I was just doing. But if you've designed your site for desktop computers and you're working your way down, in that case, you'd want to be using max width instead of min width. And it works exactly the same way. Other things that you can use other than focusing on width, well, you can focus on the orientation of the screen, you know, portrait or landscape. Um, and you can even, you know, say if you want your CSS to work for a screen or if you want it to be working for when someone's printing off your page. So I hope you like this video and uh, if you want some more information on media queries with a bit more in-depth detail, there's links in the description below that talk a lot more about them. Uh, if you did like this video and you like this format of going fast and just covering the basics of a subject, hit the like button, let me know that you liked it. Please, if you have any comments, any questions, or any video ideas, leave a comment down below and let me know. And last, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you keep getting videos like this one, as well as other longer, more in-depth ones, every Wednesday.